Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial or bucket spigot plugin tutorial. If you're joining me for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week, usually every Friday. Running a little late this week, so we're getting it out to you today on a Saturday. Nonetheless, if you have a plugin that you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in the jibbles below. That would be the comment or description section. That's the word I use. And this week, is brought to you by Night King 2002. Elliot Awesomeness is the other one. Now, I think there was one more, but I don't really recall, and I might have accidentally not grabbed that. Sorry about that. Anyway, it is made by Elich Leno. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it is called Auto Message. Now, what Auto Message does is it displays and repeating or random selection of messages. You see this a lot of times in, in servers tweet uh, like messages out help or reminders or news updates all that stuff now the benefit of this one over just about anything else is you can have multiple lists you can have lists that only certain groups can use based upon their permissions so with that in mind it does kind of require a permissions plugins so hopefully you're using pex or group manager or even the the uh, built-in bucket permissions although i've never actually used those so anyway Let's get into it. There's a whole lot of commands. There's a whole lot of perms. I guess before we actually get into it, sorry, is uh, I, th I figured I would tell you the permission that you need, that your users need to see any list. So they need auto message dot receive dot message, the message list. So whatever the message list name. By default, there's two of them called regular and JSON. So those are the two that uh, that they'll need the permissions note to be able to see those. As you can see, they are running right now. They, they offer you some other things like um, some hover. You can hover over the message and it gives you extra stuff. You can set a prefix and a suffix for, for the message list. You can click on it and then it'll do a certain action, which is really cool. And we'll show you guys how to do that in the config. You can do pretty much everything in the game except for, uh, you can maybe do those. It, be, it makes it a little bit easier to do those in the config itself rather than in the game. But anyway, what we do is we go AM help, and it's going to tell you a lot of the options and commands that you can put in. You can add. You do AM add. You can do AM edit. You can remove. So with, with the syntax of how it goes is it's usually like the command, the list that you want to do, and then uh, the index which is the number of the list so if we do am list to see all the lists that we have and then you go am list regular so we want to see all of the command the the messages in regular so that yellow zero one two three that is the index on each list so if we do json we can see all of those now this is where we can see the text and then um the click event and the hover event where is the hover um, value text hover event so those are some of the events that you can do I'll put a list uh, I'll, I'll put a link to the page that'll tell you some of those other options that you can do oh and then in a message you can do this this uh, backslash n and it's going to put the next line so that's how you see first messages in the default list you can see all of that Okay, so let's say we want to add a list. So we're going to do am add regular. Now that's going to add it to the list itself. And then you can put a interval number that you want to put in there or you just leave this blank. But this is going to be the spot that you want to put it. You can leave it blank and it'll automatically put it to the end of the list. And then uh, we're going to put it in name. Now it's got to be all caps. I just I learned that. And uh, there's a bunch of variables that you can use. And I'll put a link in the jibbles below for those variables. But we're just going to use a few of them here. Welcome. You are in uh, world. So it's going to show the world name with... And then online, and that's going to show the number of players online, which is only going to be one. But then we can do AM broadcast, and there it goes. It broadcasts it right now because we're at the end of the time period for that. But we can do broadcast regular, and then it is number four. And there it goes. So you are in the world, um, and then there is that. So then we can also change the interval that a, a certain list will go. So if you do AM interval, regular we're going to keep working on regular and then uh list interval so then we want to do uh one minute and oh it would help if i spelt that right interval regular interval must be an integer 
So that is really fast. It's in seconds, so we're going to do 60 seconds. Change that back. So it's in seconds, and then you can also set an expiry on a list. So you can have a, uh, like a sale promotion or something. You can have it expire at a certain time, and you, you could do AM expiry, and then the list, regular, and then the expiry. So now you can do one day, one hour, one month or minute, I think, and then seconds. So expires in 59 seconds. So we're just gonna change that back to negative one. That means it doesn't expire at all. So that is about it for the commands. There's, uh, you can also set a list to be AM random. So then instead of going right down the list, we can do random regular, and then we could set that to random. So then it's just gonna pick a random one every 45 seconds, which or 60 seconds, which is what we changed it to. So you all also have access to AM reload and AM update. If you ever make any changes to config file, you have to do AM reload. Now, before we go hop over to the config file, if you make any changes to config file, and then it just wipes it out and sets it back to default and removes everything you did, then you probably have a syntax error in what you added. So I would go back, be sure to copy, save all that stuff, copy everything, and then paste it in an online y -A -M -A YAML, y -A -M -L checker, and then it'll tell you where the, the error is. I'll put a link in the jibbles to that checker. That's just good to know for a lot of other people. And I guess before we get into it, let's hop in. Let's talk about some of the permissions. So basically it's auto message dot commands dot whatever the command is. So we got reload and update. By default, ops have access to all of this, which is really nice. If you want any mods or stuff, you can have them have access to add, edit, remove, enable, interval, random, prefix, suffix. Actually, side note on prefix suffix doesn't seem to be working. So um, maybe in the future, when the author, if the author ever tells me that it is working, I'll put an annotation over it. Then you can do broadcast and list. So broadcast probably one that you want your mods to use. A list is just to see everything that's out there. I don't think I really hit on edit. Now, if you want to edit one, you're going to do AM, edit, and then list. And then the interval, so whichever, or index, whichever one it is, so three, and then you're going to put in the new message, and then I'll wipe it out and put that new one in there. Now, the color codes do work in this, as you can see in some of this, these examples, and um, the variables and anything else that you want to change. If you want to have an apostrophe, like a possessive, you know, uh, that, you actually have to put two in there otherwise the auto message will not see it correctly so two makes it an apostrophe in there if you have any commands that are run in an auto message like a slash command it's going to run everything after that command in that line so um make sure that any server commands that you want run to be at the end of the auto message that's about it. Let's hop over to the config file to wrap all this up and take a look. No, here's here's the command right there. So it says that I've clicked it. There we go. All right, let's hop over. Let's take a look at the config file. Okay, so here we are. It's pretty. It's the only config file in here. So let's talk about a few things. You can enable it and disable it. You can even set a minimum player. So if there's only two people on your server, you can have it where it doesn't run those because that can be kind of annoying. So log to console. This meaning this is false. That means that these messages will not show up in the console uh, message list, which or the console log which is probably good you don't want to see all these things you know what's running you don't need to know that they're running now here's where you get the message list so here's the message list now this is the message list name now remember you need the permission node the auto message dot receive dot message list so dot json for them to be able to see this now this has the options of the the hover over me and the hover event click event now keep in mind this is pretty advanced it might take you some time trial and error to get these set up correctly but you have some great examples in here to go off of and they might actually give you some options like you can put the uh, open Google you can have it open to your online store or your forum or whatever it is that you want so people can just go right there here's the interval setting you can disable that in here like I said all this stuff you can do in game we just hit it it's so cool you can do all this stuff in game I love that 
So now here we got the regular. You can enable it true. That's the interval we updated it to. We've set it expiry to negative one, means it will not expire. We've set it to random. And then here is each message list. Now each one of these, these uh hyphens i guess is a new message and then like we said the backslash n means new line so you can have multiple lines in the same message and then like i said or like we talked about the colors you know do work and then if you want the apostrophe it's double apostrophe and then uh yeah this as a reminder and actually this is wrong this is going to be regular <laughs> so the the example is slightly wrong and then this is the one that we added. That's it. There's so much in here that you guys can do and you can modify and make it awesome on your server. So if you have any suggestions that you want to share with anybody else of like what you've done with this and um, and help other people with their server, I think with the click events and the hover events, that's so cool. It's a really cool feature. I've not seen an auto broadcast plugin ever. And uh, yeah, that's all. So hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and ask any questions that you have. I'll do my best to answer. You might be better just posting on the, the author's page, but I'll do my best to help out. So this is Kaz from McFriends reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless. Yeah, yeah good old new Kipling. It's so much better than old game. <laughs> it's, it's, so much, it's so much better than old Kipling.